For Gary, Donna, and Gary Jr., the day after racing is cleanup time. The track needs constant maintenance. Today, they are painting the kitchen. Hey, Mikey. Yes. We want to put the paint on the wall, not on the window. Here's the keys for the bathroom. Let's go. I've been asking you all day. Come on. That looks like something from the South Village. Or something. You better shut up. We all get along great here. Get yourself a oh. paintbrush, Gary. Isn't that what we're doing here? Painting? Oh, uh, no, your mother's not going to help you. <laughs> Let's see, Mommy. I'm going to give you all your little stuff. Go ahead. Just keep working here. Don't embarrass yourself, okay? Okay, good. Well, as long as it, uh, it keeps going the way it's going, I mean, we'll be able to continue doing this, you know, for when we're ready to retire. Hopefully, the kids will want to take it over. What are you guys going to do when I quit? Since buying the track in 2000, the couple has invested several hundred thousand dollars into updating the speedway. Their hard work has paid off. My biggest work on Friday is the track. You know, I'll start that at 7 o'clock in the morning and be working on it all day. And then if you get a hot sunny day in the summertime, you know, you could have it watered good. It could look like that on Thursday night, but then come Friday, you don't continually keep the water on that track. It'll dry out and you'll have a dusty surface. My name is Nicole Tracy, I'm from Danbury, Connecticut. I remember the first time I actually went out in the car because I used to drive go-karts. And I just went through turn three and four and I hit the gas and I just felt the power in the whole car lean. I was like, oh, this is awesome. I love this. Nicole Tracy is the only girl who races at Accord Speedway. In a sport dominated by men, being a woman has added pressure. It's a double-edged sword to be a female in this, this level of racing because in a lot of respects she gets more attention because she's, she's a girl. But on the other end, she gets a lot more criticism because she's a girl. So if something goes wrong and she's in that area, every guy out there says, you know, why, why don't you do something about her? She can't drive. Her just being a girl out there is just 10 times worse, you know? Because the guys see a girl out there and they're like, oh, you know, but she's capable of it, you know? Towards the end of the year, she was running out there with the top guys, you know? So she should be fine. I think last year in the beginning of the year I wasn't really nervous. I think my husband was more nervous than I was. Um, this year I think I got more nervous as time went on. The more competitive she was being out there and going towards the front or staying, running up towards the front. Not every wife will let a husband spend five or six nights a week in the garage plus all the money that involves. So it d does, racing season does disrupt the entire family and not every wife or sibling is going to um, going to be happy about that kind of interruption in, a, in the family. Her being a girl, you're that much more protective about her. And uh, I mean, it's kind of hard. She really can't do anything about it, you know, because then I'll reflect on next week, you know. But uh, I mean, I raced. I know how it is out there. I know how adrenaline is, you know. And how, you know, how frustrated you get with yourself. Saturday's race was especially hairy for the team and family. I was going in the turn and it just had a really bad push. We went up towards, towards turn two, came back around and somebody just hit the front of me and sent me straight into the wall. And the weird thing is about it, with go-karts, if I was going to get into a crash, I would really shut my eyes. So I went and see it. But with this car, I kept my eyes wide open and I just saw everything go up and around and then came back down and I was just waiting for them to flip me back over. But then my whole like driving suit got all wet and I smelt fuel and I was turned sideways so I was like, oh, fuel's coming all on me. And plus everybody around me was still starting. Then I like started panicking, I couldn't breathe. I'm like, oh my God, what happens if this thing blows up and I'm stuck in here? So I undid my seat belts and I hopped out. I didn't even take the steering wheel out of the car or anything and got out and crawled through a little space and got out. Walked on top of another car to get away. With less than a week to go, the team has to work overtime to get the car ready for the last race of the year. The frame of the car has been badly damaged and must be rebuilt. After the frame is rebuilt, routine maintenance must also be performed. Nicole's success has a lot to do with her dad. Her father works very hard on that car. He knows he's not going to go to NASCAR or nothing, but he's going to go on short track, and I guarantee you in a couple of years they're going to be very tough to beat.
For Nicole's father, Mike, it was never an option as to whether he should let Nicole race. But I, I specifically remember when she wanted to race. Because TJ was racing, and I remember her coming. As a matter of fact, she had her dress and little skirt, bows in her hair all the time. And she stood there and looked, and she's like, Daddy, when am I going to race? And I almost said it. I almost said, you can't, you're a girl. I almost, but I didn't. It kind of took me, and I was like, why, do you want to? She's like, well, yeah, I want to race too. What are you supposed to do?